Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is work with ambient light um, and lights with, um, you know, artificial lighting as opposed to daylighting, which we just worked with um, in the time lapse. So to do that, the first, this first video I'm going to go over self-illuminating materials in um, Inkscape. And so what I'm going to do is if I come over to Rhino here underneath, there's a stairwell right there. And so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make those stairs self-illuminate so they make this light sort of glow up out of the, um, the stairwell. So first things first, we have to go in and in Rhino, we want to bring out our materials and make a material for the stairs. So I'm just going to add a material here, make an Enscape material, and I'm going to call it stairs. Okay, so now I've got that. Now I need to assign it to the stairs. So you can see the stairs here. If I scroll over, I'm going to assign it by material. You could drag it out, but I prefer to assign by material when I can, by uh, layer, when I can. So I ap apply the material by layer. So I'm going to click on that and come down here. And in the pull down, I'm going to pick stairs and click OK. Um, and then once I do that, once we haven't made the material self-illuminating yet, so it's not making any difference. But the other thing is that the sun is coming right in, and so we want to sort of change that to be night. So I'm just going to go to the rendering tab here and go to my sun settings, and I'm going to scrub this guy just so it's dark. Um, you could do this in Enscape with the right-click shift if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do it in in um, Rhino. And so let's go into the materials tuner here. And if we pull that guy out, right, um, if we go to the stairs, we have an option to make it self-illuminate. And um, right now it's not self-illuminating. Um, sometimes um, there's an interference from the materials dialog box and things like that, um, that it won't update the self-illumination. So um, I'm going to close this guy and it still won't do it. So sometimes I will just reset Enscape. So if I turn this guy back on, right, now you see it self-illuminating um, and you can go back to your tuner and if you select the stairs you can then pull that self-illumination sort of down, right, so it's not so glary, right, it becomes sort of more of an ambient light, you know, if you don't want anything, if you want it kind of a soft light. Um, and then you can do whatever you want. You can render it out. So um, the other thing we might do, you can um, you can go to the mesh, which is actually what's on the roof, and you can self-illuminate that, right? And that self-illuminates, and then you can kind of pull that self-illumination down. And for some reason, it kind of goes a little nutty. I don't know why, but if I let it go, Right, usually it'll kick back in. So now you're getting sort of a glow from the top as well. Um, so you can really sort of set up a nice scene here, um, depending on how you want to do it. Um, you can also change the color, right, of the self-illumination so it will glow red or yellow. You can think about the fact that you could put a light shelf in and just have one plane and assign a self-illuminating plane and you would get a nice glow from the sort of the light shelf. Um, so that's just a really easy way to go in there and get, you know, light set so you can um, just get sort of a nice soft glow that doesn't have to do with the sun.